Stop wasting time fixing data errors. Let's unlock 12 real-world Excel data validation rules that make your data entry forms clean, accurate, and completely error-free. Let's jump in. First one, whole number validation for employee ID. We only want whole numbers between 1001 and 2000 for employee IDs. Select the employee ID range, click on data validation in the data tools group. Go to the settings tab, allow whole number data between minimum 1001, maximum 2000. Next, add an input message Check show input message when cell is selected. Title, employee ID entry. Message, enter a valid whole number between 1001 and 2000. Then, add an error alert. Title, invalid ID error message. Type, employee ID must be a whole number between 1001 and 2000. Let's test our employee ID validation in action. First, I'll type A, B, 1, 2, 3, a mix of letters and numbers. As you can see, Excel throws an error because only whole numbers are allowed. Now I enter 1015, a proper whole number within range. This time, Excel accepts it without any issues. This rule helps maintain accurate and clean ID records. Next, text length validation for full name must be text, no digits allowed. Select the full name column range. Click on data validation. In the pop-up, allow custom. Enter this formula, equals and. Inside it, use some product with is number and find functions. Use MID to extract each character from cell B2 one by one using row indirect and check if any of those characters are found in the string of digits 0123456789. If the total number of found digits is zero and the cell B2 is not blank, return true. Otherwise, return false. Next, add an input message. Title, text only, message. Type, please enter only letters and spaces. Numbers are not allowed. Then, add an error alert. Style, stop, title, invalid name, message. This field only allows text A to Z and spaces. Numbers or mixed input are not permitted. Now we're validating the full name field. Next, I type 12345. Again, Excel stops me. Numbers are not allowed in the full name field. Even something like A1B2 fails. It has both letters and digits. But if I enter a proper name like Priya Verma, Excel accepts it, clean and correct. Next, drop down validation for the department. Extract unique department names. Copy the department list to another empty column. Select the list in column. Go to Data tab. Click Remove Duplicates. This gives you a unique list. Select the department row for the drop down. Go to the Data tab, click Data Validation, Allow, Select List. Source, select the range with the unique department list. Click OK. Drag down. You will now see a drop-down arrow in the cells. Only select from the department names listed. Improving data accuracy and ease of use in your Excel sheet. Next, validate email format must be at vedakarna.com. Enter only official emails. Go to the data validation. In the pop-up, choose custom formula. Enter this formula equals is number search at vedakarna.com D2. This checks if the cell D2 contains at vedakarna.com. Next, add input message, optional. Title, valid company email only. Message, enter email ending with at vedakarna.com. Then, add error alert. Go to the error alert tab. Style, stop. Title, invalid email format. Message, please enter a valid email like name at vedakarna.com. 
Now let's validate the email column to allow only addresses that belong to our company domain. Try entering a Gmail or Yahoo email. It gets blocked. Only company emails are accepted. Next, allow only six-digit PIN code values. Select the PIN code column range. Click on Data Validation. Allow text length. Data equal to length six. Next, add input message. Title, six-digit PIN code required. Message, type, Please enter exactly six digits. Then add error alert, style, stop, title, invalid pin code. Message, only six digit pin codes are allowed. Now we'll validate the pin code field to allow only six digit entries. Try entering five digits, error. Enter six digits, and it works. This ensures all PIN codes are formatted consistently and completely. Next, date validation for joining date. Click on data validation in the data validation window. Allow date data greater than or equal to start date type 01-01-2021. Next, add input message. Title, joining date rule. Message type, only dates on or after 01. January 2021 are allowed. Then add error alert style, stop title, invalid date message. Type, please enter a date on or after January 1st, 2021. Try entering 30 December 2020. Excel blocks it. But if I type 18-05-2025 or any future date, it works. This protects our data integrity by making sure no invalid joining dates sneak in. It also keeps future reports valid. Next, time validation for shift time. Excel offers two ways to validate time. Let me show you both. First, one, direct time validation, simple range. Only allow time between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m., data validation. In the data validation dialog, allow, time, data, between, start time, 6 a.m., end time, 9 p.m. Let test, if I enter 5.30 a.m., error, Enter 8.45 a.m. Accepted. What if there's a break between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. and we want to block entries during that time? That's where custom formula validation comes in while restricting the lunch hour. Let's see, custom formula validation, advanced shifts. Again, in the data validation dialog, allow. Custom formula. Type equals OR, then use AND to check if the time in G2 is between 6 a.m. and before 12 p.m. Add another AND to check if it's between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. Close all brackets and press Enter. Input message tab, title, shift time rule. Message, allowed shift timings, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Error alert tab, title, Shift time invalid. Message. Lunchtime, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. is not allowed. If I enter, 7 a.m. Accepted. If I enter, 12.30 p.m. Showing error. If I enter, 1.15 p.m. Accepted. Next, decimal validation for salary. Select the salary column range, click on data validation in the pop-up. Allow decimal. Data between minimum 20,000, maximum 100,000. Next, add input message. 
Title, Enter Valid Salary. Message, Type, Salary must be between 20,000 rupees and 1 lakh rupees. Then, Add Error Alert Style. Stop, Title, Invalid Salary. Message, Type, Please enter a salary between 20,000 rupees and 1 lakh rupees. Let's validate the salary field to accept only decimal values between 20,000 rupees and 1 lakh rupees. If I type 1500, Excel blocks it. If I type 55,000.75, it's accepted. This ensures salary entries are in an acceptable and realistic range. Next, validate performance rating. Ensure employee performance ratings are always between 1.0 and 5.0. In the data validation dialog, allow decimal, data, between, minimum, first maximum, fifth next. Add input message, title, enter performance rating. Message, only decimal values between 1.0 and 5.0 allowed. Next, add error alert. Then style, stop. Title, invalid rating. Message, enter a value between 1.0 and 5.0. Now let's validate employee performance ratings to ensure they're within a logical and fair range. If someone tries to enter 5.5 or 0, Excel will instantly throw an error. This keeps the ratings meaningful and consistent. Next, validate remarks. Field text length between 4 and 50 characters. Click on Data Validation. In the Data Validation window, allow text length, data between, minimum, 4, maximum, 50. Next, add input message. Title, enter valid feedback. Message, remarks must be between 4 and 50 characters. Then, add error alert, style, stop, title, invalid remarks. Message, please enter detailed feedback, 4 to 50 characters only. Now let's validate. If enter feedback like goo, shows error, and overly long essays, type strong performer pass, valid. Now your data stays clean and actionable. Next, task deadline validation. Allow only today or future dates. Ensure that task deadlines are not set in the past. Click on Data Validation in the Data Validation window. Allow date greater than or equal to. Start date. Type equals today and open and close parentheses with no arguments. This ensures only today's or future dates are allowed. Next, add input message. Title, enter valid deadline. Message only today or future dates are allowed. Then, add error alert. Style, stop. Title, invalid deadline. Message, deadline cannot be set to a past date. Now let's ensure all task deadlines are practical. Only today or future dates should be allowed. Enter past date, 20 May 2024. Showing, error. Enter today's future date first. This prevents accidental entries like past deadlines and keeps project plans accurate. Next, review date column validation to block weekend dates. Allow entry of only weekday dates. If a Saturday or Sunday is entered, Excel should display an error message. Go to the data validation in the data tools group. Allow, choose custom, formula. Enter this formula, type equals, Weekday, L2, 2, less than 6. This checks if the date in cell L2 is a weekday, Monday to Friday. It returns true for weekdays and false for weekends. Next, add input message. Title, weekday only. Input message, please enter a date between Monday and Friday. Weekend dates are not allowed. Then, add an error alert. Title, Enter something like invalid date, error message, write, 
Weekend dates are not allowed. Please enter a weekday. Test the validation. Try entering. Monday to Friday, accepted. Saturday or Sunday, error message appears. Helping maintain accurate and consistent date entries in your Excel worksheet. And that's a wrap on our top 12 Excel data validations for employee management and planning. Whether you're managing records, onboarding staff, or tracking performance, these validations help maintain data integrity and professionalism in every cell. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.